So first of all, Foreign Secretary, what are the main challenges facing UK PLC? Well, the main challenge is the world economic situation, not only the crisis in the Eurozone and the debt crisis in the Western world, but added to that the intensified competition from emerging powers, emerging economies all around the world. And that means all of us have to do more with less. And that's ministers, students, entrepreneurs, uh, company leaders, all of us have to work out the ways of doing that. That's what many British businesses, of course, have already been doing. But I think it makes it a very, very challenging decade. How would you say the government and the Foreign Office specifically is supporting growth? Well, the, the Foreign Office is putting more effort than we've ever put before into supporting businesses. We are opening new embassies and new trade offices. I've announced this week that we will now have more representation across India than any other country will have across India. So we're putting in place the network that is there largely to support businesses. Uh, where we have stated out the prosperity of our country as one of the three objectives of the Foreign Office. So foreign policy has to support economic policy more than it has done in recent decades. And I will spell that out in my speech tonight. And why is it important that UK businesses break into these emerging markets? Well, these are the growing markets. Uh, the vast majority of the world's economic growth is coming in the emerging markets. Of course, European nations, European markets will remain of central importance to us, but they are flat. Overall, they are not growing. The growth is elsewhere in the world, so we're shifting our diplomatic weight into those parts of the world. Uh, our business weight has to shift as well. We know about the challenges facing UK businesses. What are the strengths? Oh, the strengths are enormous. I feel as Foreign Secretary going around the country when I talk about British strengths in so many areas of invention and research, uh, our enormous strengths in aerospace, in pharmaceuticals, of course our tremendous uh, services, financial and legal services in this country, to name but a few, there are many more. Uh, I, I always feel as the British Foreign Secretary that there are great things to say about British businesses and about British products. We are still the sixth largest trading nation in the world, so uh, let's not lose our confidence. And finally, do you think the CBI has a vital role to play in growth and in breaking into the emerging markets? The CBI has a very important role to play. Of course, all its members have a crucial role to play. But the CBI, too, in representing the, the voice of business, in being able to communicate with government, in being able to set out what business needs from the rest of the country, I think that's a very important, indeed indispensable role.